Well, here we are. It's the last day of the fall 2008 sign-up for me. And uh, it was a good sign-up, a good route, had good people on the route, had a great crew of people hang out with uh, at the Beaverton Transit Center for our compatriots. Good, good, good bunch out here at Merlot. And uh, it's always somewhat sad for me to see the end of a, a good sign. You're always happy to see the end of a crappy sign-up like the one I had last time, it was 7652, but when you get a good one, it's, it's always some sadness in seeing it go away. The route that I had was gone for the this next sign-up, the scheduling department, and their wisdom decided that this route would now be changed back to, well, I don't know, either full-time route or split shift or I don't know. So there's no, uh, there's no way I could even sign it because it wasn't even which is always curious to know how our beloved scheduling department decides which routes stay and which routes go. It seems uh, curious that only a handful of routes ever seem to stay sign up after sign up after sign up. And I wonder why that is, because you know they could switch things around if they wanted to, but with some routes, they don't want to. So what's up with that? Seems like everybody else gets mixed around, but a few hand, a few select people are allowed to keep their routes. So, hmm, something suspicious about that. Anyway, goodbye to the fall sign-up, and uh, be saying goodbye to some of our friends at the Transit Center. And uh, yeah, that's it. Another sign-up comes. Up. Yeah, really? this is the last day. Oh, really? You're done, man. You're done. Oh, really? There's a new sign up the, next Monday? The new sign up is Monday. Oh, really? Sunday. Here he is. A 36 year operator doesn't know when the new sign up is. Yeah. I'm driving uh, a 67 on Saturday and an 88. No. A 67 on Saturday and an 89 on Saturday. Actually, yeah, yeah man. Uh, that's the best. Yeah. Not better than Nally's. No, no. Yeah. Are you leaving, Joe? Well, Joe, nice to... Well, hey, Joe, I see Joe all the time. I see him almost every time. But I'll tell you, the one guy I'm going to miss after the sign-up is this guy right here. This guy. I'm going to miss this guy. All right. you know, he, he, he's an unusual character, and people right. should know that once you get used to him, he can be the, one of the most entertaining people right. at trying right. Next to I'm Tom. Gonna, gonna tell you about Tom this. is definitely number one entertainer. All right, I'm going to tell you about this. Number two is, is this guy. Is all right. Number all right. One. Number one. No, you're right. number one. Four Hispanics comes on the bus. Yes. All, all wearing black. Yes. Yeah. Uh, one has a pass, uh, and the other three, they put in $5. That's five dollars $15? Now, be, 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 before, be, change. before I give them the Tom ticket, Hall, making trouble. Yeah. before I give them the ticket, <laughs> the uh, sheriff comes and parked their bus right in front of my bus, and another sheriff car come and parked in front of my bus. So two of them did. The two of them did. And there's a woman, and she she wanted all four of them off the bus. And she, and she told you that. She said, so, have those four get off the bus. So I told them, get out of the bus <laughs> right now. All three of them went, but one one uh, <laughs> stayed behind. He gets a day hand. So he's uh, very reluctant. Yeah. And I said, come on, one more. <laughs> come on, it's one more. He finally reluctantly left the bus and they put all their hands on the hood of her car and she searched them. Yeah? And yeah. I left. Oh, you just left? You, you left? You didn't see what they nope. had? She didn't arrest them or nothing? You didn't know? Nope. Well, you, didn't you tell her no, something about your dad? Uh, what did you tell her your dad was a cop and hunk? Oh, yeah. I, I, I told, I told the, uh, the, the sheriff my dad was a uh, policeman in Hong Kong. And, uh, Is that true? I think it was this And uh, what about Anthony Tran? <laughs> He's fired. So the question is, yeah. when you balance out tonight, what are you going to do? You're going to have five dollars <laughs> in your bank. So anyway, yeah, we're going to miss this guy. This is the first time I've actually 
got to hang out with him and, uh, you know. I'll tell people right on camera that he's good for his debt. So when he runs out of money because he's gambled all the way and he wants to borrow money, he will pay you back. So, he will pay you back. Yes, he's very good about paying his debt. Don't know when, but I'll pay him back. He pays you back the next paycheck. He always paid me back on his next paycheck because he'll always be broke because he wastes all of his money in Spirit Mountain. But <laughs> that's his right to do that.